Hello, you have reached the Department of Anesthesia. Please leave your message at the sign of the tone, and someone will return your phone call as soon as they can. Thanks. I'll record your message at the tone when you are finished. Or our control desk, if James can help you. Hi, is this the anesthesiology department at UCLA? I know, this is the OR control desk. Oh, okay. I was wondering, can I talk to any staff member in the anesthesiology department? Uh, one moment, please. Thank you. Anesthesia, this is Eric. Hi, uh, Eric. I was wondering if I can have a second of your time. Um, are you in the anesthesiology department at UCLA? Uh, yes. Are, are you a... Who is that? My name is Anastasio Dalde. Um, are, are you a staff member or a... I'm a resident. A res okay, cool. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a teacher in Hawaii, and I'm a high school teacher, and I teach chemistry. Um, and here's what, what I wanted to ask you was, I was just curious to know, I'm trying to teach my students molarity, you know, like concentration, and also like stoichiometry, which is like, you know, converting. Well, I'm sure that you've had to take a lot of chemistry um, in, uh -huh. in your college. But I was having a conversation with a student yesterday, and we kind of got into it about like, this student wants to be an anesthesiologist. And I turned around and I told them, well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, you know, because this student was saying, man, I really hate this stoichiometry stuff and this molarity conversion, all of this kind of stuff is really uh, tough for me to grasp. And I said, I'll be honest with you. If you want to be an anesthesiologist, from what I, I know about it, which to be honest with you, I really know nothing about it, but uh, from what I understand, you really got to know this stuff about converting um, converting units, diluting uh, chemicals, or, di you know, I would assume that you guys dilute the, the medicines or whatnot, and also, you know, doing like stoichiometry uh, calculations. Is I was just wondering what your thoughts were on that. Um. Yeah, unit conversion is a useful skill, you know, in anesthesiology especially because uh, we give patients drugs and we need to know they you know, you know, not every not every drug company company comes with uh, the same you know concentration. We need to be flexible and be able to do conversion when we take care of patients in real time. So, so uh, from what I, the, I'm sorry, go. Yeah. From what I understand about, like, what I told him was I said, well, when, chem you know, like in my chemistry lab, uh, the chemical companies don't send me um, the diluted form of all of the all of the chemicals. It would just take w up way too much space. And so they would send me a high molarity, and then I would basically dilute it down myself for whatever purposes I need. Right. Is that true in the hospitals? <clears throat> Um, so, I mean, different hospitals have, you know, different concentration of medi medication. Um, so, it doesn't matter, like, you know, certain hospitals may, may buy certain drug company with certain dilution of drugs, but we make our, you know, if we need to make it ourselves, we need to know how to convert these medications to the ones that we're used to. So, yeah, conversion is very important. And May, um, may I ask one, one, another question is, um, the, the, when the student was was asking me this, and I kind of, w what I like about this is I want to be able to, like, say, well, I talked to an anesthesiologist, and this is what he said. Um, but the student was saying, well, I, I, I'm assuming that all of this stuff is done by computers now, all the calculations. Why do no. I have to learn how to do it by hand? No, it's not done by computers, um, no. You actually I have mean, to do... I'm sorry, go. Yeah, we, we, we do our own calculations. Uh, the computer will help, but, you know, in an emergency circumstances where we have to make our drug, you know, quickly, you know, there's no time to pull it up, you know, and there's no time to Google it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so you need to know how to do it. Do, yeah, that's not... Do you guys ever use... Um, I, I mean, this, this might be a little stretch, but do you guys ever use molar mass and, and, and that kind of stuff in converting not, these not chemicals? Usually. No, no, I don't, we don't use that kind of like molar, our molar mass is, no, not specifically, no. It's, 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 is, is that because you're dealing mostly with organic chemistry? Um, we don't use chemistry actually, we just like, I think, 
you know, we just use unit conversion. That, you know, that, that's mainly what we do, right? And we don't go into like the whole detail about like all the stoking atometry of this. We don't do that. So, so I'm a physics major, and I only had to take one year of chemistry in, in uh, college. When you're an anesthesiologist resident. How much chemistry do they require of you? I'm sorry? You're an anesthesiologist resident. How much chemistry did they require uh, of you to oh, get yeah, to? Oh, yeah, they require, like, you know, general chemistry, organic chemistry. They require, you know, the whole, you know, pre-med program, yeah. They okay. require those training. Yeah. Okay. Hey, your time has been very valuable, and thank you so much. I'm just trying to... Figure out, I think that for me as a teacher, the biggest, most important question I want to try to answer is relevancy. And a uh -huh. student comes up to me and says, I want to be an anesthesiologist. I know nothing about anesthesiology. Um, and I, you know, I mean, as a physics major, I'm, I'm, I know a little bit about chemistry, but I'm trying to convince him that, like, look, this, this stuff that we're, we're, that I'm teaching you is worth your time. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's important. Anything like all those things are important as part of um, just build a very strong foundation. Right. Thank you yeah. so, so much. Can I, let, me, let, me, let me write down your name. What's sure. Your name? My name is uh, Anastasio Dalde, or you know, you can just put Tosh Dalde, T A S H. Uh huh. Last name is Dalde, D A L D E. Oh. Interesting. So you're from Hawaii? Yeah, yeah. I teach in an online tech academy in Hawaii. It's a, a public charter school. Uh huh. And um, and I'm teaching students online um, all over the islands of Hawaii. And so this specific student is on Big Island, I believe. And, I and, and another question I have is, how did you get uh, this number? I was actually just looking up different anesthesiology departments, and I called oh, the main operating okay. room, and they took they sent me over to you. I see. Ma okay. What, what was Sounds your name? Good. I hope my name is, uh, my name is Eric. Okay. I'm one of the residents in uh, here at UCLA. So yeah, I'm glad. I hope like my uh, answer helped. Um, yeah. You know, Hopefully, I I just think uh, that I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him, hey, look, I talked to a guy who's a resident in anesthesiology at U UCLA, yeah. and and this is yeah. what they said. Okay. Sounds right. good. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Eric. Right. Aloha. Bye. Bye. Bye.